back off, man. I'm a scientist. Citation viewer says, I, Geeker, is coming to you with a new Transformers Ghostbusters review. That's right, I'm doing it on Ectotron. This is the first official crossover of any Transformers and property around. This is the first official figure we've ever gotten. Uh, we've had many of artwork of different crossovers. We've had the DeLorean, we had the A Team Van, uh, Airwolf, and I, I believe the General Lee, all done as Transformers. But this is the first time we've had, uh, when they did the uh, Ecto 1, we had an official figure. And this is Ectotron. Comes to Earth, I guess. Uh, I haven't read the comic which this is based on. I really need to, but. Um, but I also want to get Starscream's ghost because I can have something for him to capture. <laughs> but he is a awesome looking figure. Uh, accessories. Uh, he comes with his proton pack, but that is part of the transformation. And the other accessory is a little Slimer figure. It's, a lot of people, I think, really wanted this figure just for the Slimer. And I did too. But I also really liked the... Uh, robot itself. Uh, detail wise, um, if my camera will focus, come on, there you go. Uh, head sculpt is really nice. Uh, it's sculpted with the, uh, the Ghostbusters goggles. Um, that They don't move. That's, that's my one gripe on this figure. The goggles don't move up. I wish they did. He has an Ectotron name patch, kind of like the, the Ghostbusters did on their jumpsuit. Uh, there is a mesh mash of the the jumpsuit gr uh, tan um, mixed in with the Ghostbusters uh, Ecto One white. Uh, really less sparsely colored, but then you also got to remember the Ecto One, not much color on it. It's a white ambulance. A lot of people thought the Ecto-1 was a hearse. No, it was actually an ambulance. Um, but they also used the same model for a hearse, but it was an ambulance. Uh, articulation, uh, arms can go up and down, but is hindered due to these massive shoulders to go a full 360. Uh, you have a joint here and a joint here. No wrist swivel. Uh, but you do have a bend, do we have? and then the arm go in and out, and you have a mushroom peg here at the elbow to get articulation there. Head can turn 360. There is no waist articulation, but we do have um, hip joints, a knee bend. And that is it on that. No rotation, but we do we, we do have some rotation up here as well. So that is really cool. Let's talk about some of the details. I love how the molded details, like you have the belt molded in here, right across here. Uh, it, it looks like he has gloves um, and the boots. It, it's really nicely detailed to give. Ectotron the look of a Ghostbuster in his robot form. But let's go ahead and take him into his vehicle mode. First thing you want to do is take off the proton pack because that's part of the accessories also. Oh, before I go, yes, he can hold tap back there. He can hold the wand like so. So he can bust ghost. So let's go ahead and take the wand, the proton pack off. The transforming, very simple. Go ahead and open up the chest and fold down the head. Over here, you want to move those up and slide the tires back up. The arms, fold in the hands. Fold them up underneath. 
like that. Then just go ahead and move this up like so and having them in together like so. Legs real simple to transform. You want to go here and take these back heel spurs and fold them in. These panels fold down. Give you room to move everything up like so. Then go ahead and move the paneling here down like that. Now here comes the fun part. Take the wand, detach the cable, remove the proton wand, fold around where it's back underneath, fold this piece up. This piece pegs in right here. I had to remember what side it was, like so. He does have a large gap in the top of his roof, so you, what you want to do is fold these wires along this path under here. You're going to have a little tab. Best thing to do is when you fold it down, fold that up a little bit more and tab in that wire there. It doesn't like to hold in that well. It's kind of hard to do this while I'm holding the figure. Tab that in. Mine does not want to go in there. Because I want to do the review and it doesn't want to do that. No, you can't review me. slide all that in like that. Take the wand off. Peg in the cable here, here, and then plug in here to the side. everything gets in nice and snug and you take this piece here and you plug it in like so then over here roll that around plug into the top make sure everything is nicely snug reattach the proton wand and now in this form if you look on top of the wand Slimer has a place to sit And there we go, Ectotron in his robot mode, uh, in his alt mode, which is Ecto-1. And this is really cool. This is a really nice detail of Ecto-1 down to the equipment on top, which I love how it folds, everything folds down and folds around to become the proton pack for Ectotron. Uh, nice siren detail, light detailing there. Look at the front of the grill. That looks awesome, including with the license plate Ecto-1 from New York. This is fantastic. Now, uh, there's not a lot of paint detail um, because Ecto-1 was just an all-white vehicle, except for the red on the, the fins and uh, the Ghostbusters logo there. It's a very simplistic look but it comes across as a great little figure uh, if you are a fan of Ghostbusters I recommend getting this if you're a fan of Transformers getting this figure uh, I am a fan of both so I get got this just because that it is rather expensive at GameStop for about with tax about $70 for a very simplistic transformation 
but to me, it's worth it if you're a huge fan. Uh, I actually was uh, lucky enough to get some birthday money, and that was what I got that for, was with my birthday money. And, yeah, I just really wanted it. Uh, because, uh, luckily, there was a guy on Twitter that received two of them and sold it to me at a decent price. Uh, but that was awesome. But this is Ectotron from the Transformers Ghostbusters crossover with a little Slimer figure. He is full paranormal. Big I'm Geekers, and I'll catch you next time.